have uh, any of y'all had any problems shearing pins in your wheels? I get a few calls every once in a while. Somebody will go through a rash of uh, shearing pins in one day, and you know, it's probably my most common call complaint uh, with the you know the spreader shearing the pin and the wheel. Sometimes y'all don't know if it's a sheared pin, something else might be wrong, but either way, uh, it won't move forward. So it's probably the cheapest, easiest fix, and you know, some of y'all don't have that problem, but some of you do, and it really has a lot to do with how hard the ground is, how heavy the spreader is, uh, how much fertilizer is in it if you shear a pin. But uh, I've never really had an answer for it, and a um, short time ago, a customer came in and told me his way they've solved their problem at their company and uh, so I ordered some in started trying it and I really really like it what it is I use it in my in my uh, tongue on my trailer every day and it never even dawned on me but it's a uh, safety coupler for I I always use them in it you know lock in the hitch on my trailer but it's a uh, 3 sixteenths same as the Carter pins 3 sixteenths it's a uh, 1.97 inches long basically two inches stainless steel and it's called a shaft locking pin and it goes right in the axle right through the the wheel and you clip it and it seems to be pretty solid i would say uh i haven't used them enough to break one but uh i've been putting them in my spreaders trying them and uh, i think it's gonna be a make a huge difference so I'm going to put the link below. I get them on Amazon. They're almost five bucks a piece, but definitely would be worth it. Um, I'm also going to carry them. I'm looking for a source to where I can, you know, get quite a bit in case this turns out to be a thing. I can at least offer it. If I get them cheap enough, I'll put them in the spreaders full time if, there's, if it's going to work. But I'd like for y'all to try it, the ones that you're having problems. Tell me if it makes a difference and comment below because I'm going to read it. And... Uh, you know, maybe I can make a change. Most of my changes on my spreaders come from uh, my customers that use them anyway. So try it, put them in, let me know, and I'll put the link below where I found them on Amazon. This is where the pins are and the axle to hold the wheels on. Sometimes I get phone calls. My chain is turning, my impeller is turning, but the spreader won't go forward. And it's normally just a sheared pin. So this is uh, with those uh, new pins. Give it a shot. This is what they look like once they're installed.